Uh, we received a call at 11.42 a.m. this morning from a residential director of one of our residential facilities stating that uh, we had a shooting on campus. Approximately three minutes later, it was confirmed when Savannah Chatham Police Department called us and stated that one of our students were being treated at the hospital for multiple gunshot wounds. At that point, Ms. Haywood uh, sent out uh, the alert tone, which is our SSU alert, notifying everyone that we had a lockdown situation at that, and that we were locking down the campus. At that point, we called out a call of service to our to the other municipalities to help us out. We called the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, we called Savannah Chatham Police Department and asked that they deploy their SWAT team as well as forensics, and we called out uh, Thunderbolt Police Department and Thunderbolt Fire. They all deployed on campus, and at that point, we got to where we are now. Uh, an update on the student is that the student received uh, two shots, one in the arm and one in the abdomen, but he's in emergency surgery right now. Uh, we also had a separate injury uh, involving an automobile accident where one of my uh, officers were involved in that accident and had to be taken to the hospital for the injuries that she experienced. What was one of your first uh, priorities when y'all found out about this? Right. So, well, certainly I mean, to lock down really the campus so to protect the integrity long. of I mean, the investigation so that police officers could do their work and hopefully acclimate the suspect who's responsible and for this uh, and most certainly also for the students. safety of our other so students and employees here on the campus. <laughs> Okay, has anything like this ever happened at Savannah State University? Nothing like this has happened at Savannah State to my knowledge, and certainly not in the 10 years that I've been here. Any word on like counseling or anything like that for students? Some grief counselors are available through our Student Affairs Division, which is located in the King Fraser Student Center, should anyone need that.